demonstrate right now how I punch test without any sort of mechanical fabric test. Horizontal stabilizer, and it's right there. So again, just put my knuckle out. That's all it takes to check that. Now the red seems to be good, but the white... That's how you put the holes in it. It has served a wonderful duty and all this other stuff. But I'm gonna, if you look at the sail, if you look at the cloth, the bottom sides look reasonable. No question about it. The color is, you know, the color is presentable on the bottom. You look at the top, and it's got that faded, dusty look. Okay, you start to see that in a sail, in a stabilized Dacron sail. You write the sail off. It is done. It's over. If you look at a proper sail, now that casper wing over there, it's got fresh. Good quality fabric. In a glance, you can see it. I mean, it's very clear. And I'll show you a couple of test cells. We got some test panels over here. Of course, this is our, this is our one of our chairmen's aircraft. And from what you know now, would you say this is a good sail or a bad sail? <laughs> okay, here's an example, and this is a pretty good example of it too. The gentleman that owned this aircraft decided, I'm going to save my Dacron sails. Now this is the bottom, and of course he made the mistake of early on not doing it. Now that's the bottom of the fabric, and you can see that that's pretty well drawn. It's, it's lost, it's definitely lost its color, it's lost its... And then he did this. <laughs> Don't want to do this. This is an example of what not to do. You do not spray a sealant over your over your structure. You cannot bring the Dacron back. Okay? Once it goes to the point where it's faded, that's it. Done. It's new sales. Hey, what are we talking about? 800 bucks for a set of sales for a quick? How much are, how much are you worth? You know, that kind of stuff. However, when you do put your new sales on, there's nothing wrong with giving it a shot at clear because your sails won't be dirty. And I don't know if I can do this. The truck is probably going to freak when he comes back here. But now that's a pen and that's collapsed, okay? That's the sharp end. That's the back side of it. That's a pretty wide area. That is an equivalent of. Uh, well, if you, let's say it this way, don't put it on any hair, okay? Because you'll come back and see this thing that's reduced to a kind of a sieve looking thing. The problem is, if you do get a hole, if you do get a hole in sight, the problem with this is that the Dacron is degraded to the point, I'm not pulling on this, the Dacron is degraded to the point where in very short order, you're going to find yourself a piece of fabric at it and say, sir, your sales don't look real good. And he says, well, gee whiz, I flew with them this morning and they're just fine. You can sit there and say, well, you know, I don't think your sales are in real good shape. I want you to pass, pass pieces of that around and everybody rips them up. I had a very good friend of mine, unfortunately, killed in a piece of equipment that blew a bay and spun in. That's 3.8 Dacron sailcloth, which has been reduced now to, well, first one. The, the normal sailcloth is good for 115 pounds per square inch. There you go. And the, uh, there's leaf and uh, there's a mall tester available. And uh, quick, yeah, Quicksilver says that 41 pounds is about on the mall tester is the least that uh, uh, you can fly in. I'm from Canada and we've had several uh, failures in Canada. And in uh, most cases, a faded sailcloth isn't good for eight pounds per square inch versus 150. No. There is no way to rejuvenate your Dacron. All together now. There is no, no way to rejuvenate the Dacron. You can rejuvenate the finish, but that's it. Uh, these these aircraft, when you start, when you walk up and down the line, and you know, do I have a judge's hat on right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> you please re-edit this tape and lose the hat.
I'm not supposed to say this. Um, because I'm supposed to be a judge. But I just forgot to change hats. The, the purpose of this is, when you look at these machines, start looking at sale cloth. Start looking at things with a different eye. Don't buy the guy that says, well, hey, you know, I only fly it 12 hours a year. I only fly it during the summer. I only fly it this and that. Look at it. And remember one thing. That if you're sitting in one of these vehicles and that little corner lifts up and you're doing 35 miles an hour, you may be doing 95 miles an hour on a vertical line. So. Alrighty, in this little segment, we're going to show how to use a uh, fabric tester. Uh, the part we're going to use is the Quicksilver fabric tester. It's called, um, uh, the part number is 60033. And when you get the fabric tester, it comes with everything you need to do the test. Um, it's, it's actually a two-part uh, component. You have the first part, which is the plunger. And then the second part is the actual um, is the actual tip that we're going to use to push through the fabric. And what happens is when you try to put this in over this piece of rubber, the tip is a little loose. So what we like to do is we'll take a little piece of fuel line. We'll cut a little piece of fuel line. This is a quarter inch fuel line. We'll cut a little piece, oh, about a half inch long. And then we'll slide that over this tip. And that takes up some of the space. And then that puts a tight fit onto the plunger. What the instructions call for on the uh, stabilized Dacron sails is 10 pounds for the uh, surfaces. So what we've got is we have our O-ring, our gauge set, and I've got that set to 10 pounds now, but the way you would set it is you push the O-ring forward and then push, let's see, where's he at here? This one's, this one's kind of old, so you're hard to see, but you push the O-ring until it's sitting right at 10 pounds right there. Now that's the distance that we're going to stop pushing when we do an out test. So what we do, what I have here is a rudder. It's got a uh, clear coat on it. This rudder is several years old, but uh, the customer has told me that even though it's got the clear coat on it, the top of the rudder is in the sun. So he had suspected that the rudder was uh, uh, bad. He brought it to us to test. And so this is what we're doing here now, we'll show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tip on the fabric next to the seam because the seam is the weakest part of the fabric so I'm putting it right on the uh, right next to the seam and I'm going to push down until we get to our o-ring if it goes through before I get to the o-ring this surface is not uh, serviceable so we're going to keep pushing till we get to the tin and if it doesn't go through it's okay Let's see am I there yet right as it touched it went through and what that does is that makes a hole in the sail and that popping noise tells us that this sail is not is not a serviceable sail because it's it went through it ripped now the lower part of this rudder the lower part of this rudder when i tried it earlier we found that the lower part of the rudder was still serviceable however we can't do that we have to have the whole rudder to fly so what we're going to do is I'm going to do the little demonstration down here and we're going to go to 10 pounds and you see that it's not going to go through. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. That's a previous punch that I did. So we're going to push right by the seam. I'm going to go all the way to 10 pounds and it didn't go through. So this part of the rudder passed. The blue part of the rudder passed. You see it just made a slight dimple but it didn't go through. So in our opinion, from the test that we're doing right here with the punch test, because the top of the rudder failed, this surface is not usable. And we'll complete this test, we'll do the same test for the both the ailerons, the top and bottom surface of the wing, we'll do the trailing edge of the wing, we'll do the leading edge of the wing, we'll do the horizontal stabilizer, and we'll do the elevator. And if the punch goes through, it needs to be replaced. If it doesn't go through, it's still serviceable. So that's how the 60033 Quicksilver sale test kit works.